I'm working on some wood arrows and I'm getting ready to fletch them. Wanted to do something a little creative, so I'm splicing some feathers. Figured I'd take you through the process. It is a little tedious, but it's not very hard. Um, so here's our materials. Four inch parabolic feathers. Then I've got just a wild turkey feather with the bottom of the quill split off. And this is what we're going to be making. These are going to be the cock fletch on my arrows. Just about done. Got uh, two to go. Like I said, it's an easy enough process. Two inch masking tape, a little bit of super glue, pocket knife or an X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, feather clamp, um, you probably won't need it, but it's good to have a piece of sandpaper just in case one of these doesn't peel off right. Um, you can do the whole thing using pre-chopped feathers, um, but it's probably a little easier if you use whole feathers. All right, so here's one that I made already. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to use that to measure up where I'm going to start this piece. So I'll just set them side by side. Hold it up to the light so I can see that darker feather. So I can see the line in between the two chunks. And I'm just going to use the tip of my knife to figure out where to separate the feather so that they're about even. And I'm not cutting, I just use the knife tip to poke into the feather. I'm going to set that down on the cutting board and just lift. I'm not cutting the quill, I'm just lifting up those chunks of feather so they stay separated for me. And then we're going to peel all of this off and be left with a quill. So we grab the piece we want to remove And I'm going to work my fingernail right down. I don't know if that's going to focus. Everything's so bright. I'm going to work my fingernail right down on top of the quill and just kind of very carefully peel it straight away. If you do this right, you should be able to reuse both halves. And that's what we're left with. And that's what we peeled off. Okay. Same process for the turkey feather. Um, I can get two out of one whole turkey feather primary. So I just use one of the hen fletches for a measurement and then I go just a little bit bigger and I'm going to cut it here. That way if we lose some off the front when we start peeling it we'll still have enough. Plus we use the whole feather and we're going to be short, you know, the end bit, so we have extra built in. Um, better safe than sorry.
Lost a little bit off the end. And the front is curled up really bad, so we're going to try to bend it back. And that's going to make us lose a little bit off the front. That broken one out of there. Run a very thin bead of super glue right along the top of the quill. We'll stick this piece down on there and then we'll cut them out. So you want to take the front of this and bring it right up into that splice and then try to get the two pieces of feather to connect and then we just hold that there for a second. You got to watch the front end of the uh, actual turkey feather will want to curl up at the front end so you kind of have to come in at an angle and push that bit down first. Um, see it didn't stick. So I gotta come back in at an angle and get just the front bit stuck. And once that starts to take we can press the rest of it down. This one really doesn't want to stick, so I'm going to use my cutting board and the tip of my pocket knife and on the shoulder of the feather so you can see that little foot sticking out off to my right. I'm going to press the thin edge of my blade right on top of that membrane and push it down onto that quill. I'm not sure how I can show you that. Hopefully I explained it well. It takes two hands. I've got that where I want it, so I'll try to show you. I have no idea if that's going to focus or not. Anyway, we'll hold that for just a second, let that set up. The remainder of the glue is still wet, so we've got time. Okay, that's held on there reasonably well. Try to get these two pieces of feather to Velcro together. And we're going to take our feather clamp and use that to press the rest of the feather together. So we've got this little hump in the middle. We're just going to walk it down into the clamp. And by doing that, we're pushing that quill onto that membrane. And we can just hold it with our fingers. Or if you don't want glue on your fingers, you can press it onto a flat surface like you were setting it up on an arrow. Hold that until it's stuck and then we'll chop it out. So there it's stuck together. 
We're going to cut the extra off. And now we're going to cut out the shape of the feather. And like everything else, there's probably a faster or easier way to do all this. So if you had a feather chopper, you could probably just do, you know, whole quills and then chop them out. But this is the way I started doing it when I was a kid. All right. And then hen feather for reference. Try to line the edges of the quill up. Trace the shape on the tape. Got a little bit of a high spot right here, which usually happens. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to hold it close. It's not perfect. A little high spot there. And that's all there is to it. It's not the most precise method, but I think they look pretty good. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.